Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. It's been a while since my last video. Uh, I might as well let you guys know what's going on. Uh, the day after I did my last video, I woke up in excruciating pain. And it turns out a, I pinched a nerve in my neck. I don't know if it's a slip disc yet or what. But I have to go for an MRI this week. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it's been brutal. You know, you add that on with my lower back problems and uh, things have been tough. So first I want to thank all you guys for your patience. I'm still trying to reply to your comments. It's just things have been hectic around here. And it's really, really painful for me to tilt my head down. So when I'm on the computer or uh, on the phone, I have to do it at the short segments before... um the excruciating pain kicks in. But anyway, let's take a look at, um, I got a few knives in over that last period of time. So let's just take a look. We'll skip the spin. Over here, you'll see this I got. This is pretty cool. This is a Gerber jukebox. And they, they call it tortoise shell acrylic. But it looks a little too swirly to be tortoise shell. Now I took the pocket clip off just so you guys could see the covers. Um, the pocket clip is pretty nice. It goes there. It's a friction folder. Liner lock. Really nice. Uh, nice little fidget toy. The other one that came in. And I got it at a real good price. This is the Boker wine messer and you'll see it's on the humpback pattern let me grab a camp you'll see it's on the exact same pattern but it's only one layer whereas you got two layers here of course with more tools on it but this is the beer barrel wood. You get the corkscrew, um, single spear blade, and over here, cap lifter screwdriver. But the one I want to show you is because it just came out, it's a DLT exclusive. And it's kind of been a, a rage in some of the circles that I know. Um, however, it's getting a um, reputation for having blade wrap. But I don't think mine has it. As you'll see, it's a uh, canvas green micarta. Let's see if we can shine it up a little bit. There you go. And it's a pretty nice, it's a single blade trapper. It's about four and an eighth inch long. Blade centered. Really nice micarta. Got a brush finished satin bolster. And of course, it wouldn't be a case without a gap. It's not real serious, but it runs all the way down this left side. I don't know if you can see that. Not serious enough for me to return it. Plus, I've used it already. <clears throat> Really nice knife though. I like the uh, XX on the badge, diamond badge. And what I like about this slimline trapper is it's got more height than a lot of the other slimline trappers that I have. So the blade is a little bit, let's move this over here. Maybe we can get some better lighting. Oh, 
um, satin brush grind. It is the True Sharp Stainless. No signs of any blade wrap. But yeah, that's I heard that there these have um some of them have blade wrap. It's a USA 10154 stainless steel. Case nine dots would be 2021. Really nice user. Blade length. Let's see, we had four and an eighth inch for the handle. Three and a half or three and a quarter. Total three inches cutting edge. I don't know what's up with the lighting, maybe because it's so bright outside. Really nice knife for you case lovers. Slim line. I like it. Now, it's up to you. Uh, case is quite expensive. This was um, from DLT, $80 shipped to the door. <clears throat> so it's not cheap. Of course, you're going to take a chance on the quality. I think I did all right. The blade was centered. Um, it does have that little gap, but it's not, it's not like a Grand Canyon gap. There, you can see it up here. And it, it runs all the way down around the back. But that's maybe, I don't know, maybe am I too picky? I don't know how it's coming out on the camera. But at this point, you can actually see light through it. But I bought it as a user because I wanted something, something as a slim line with a longer, bigger blade. Whereas, say I decide to carry a Barlow, it's quite a bit bigger than a Barlow. So, if that knife is for you, you can get it at DLT. I think there's still, um, I think DLT still has some left. But it's up to you guys. I don't know. Is this knife worth $80? Let me know. So, I'll try and uh, reply to your comments today. Um, I'm going to be busy all next week with doctor appointments, whether it's my neck or my back. But um, I'll try and reply to your comments. I do read them, so please leave them. And until next time, we'll show you. Um, we got some more Shat and Morgans over here that are new, especially this Heritage, which is a beautiful knife. Um. Another Shat Morgan gun stock and stag. Uh, <clears throat> a queen, Barlow, and Buffalo horn. So I got lots of stuff as soon as I can get these damn physical ailments fixed up. Um, I, I should be able to run like 10 videos right in a row because I also want to do a. Um, uh, a Barlow collection um, video where I show all all my Barlows um, and I'll probably have to do that like 10 at a time so it'll be like a 10 part series I want to start working on that too uh, with that I'll probably release each one independently rather than drop 10 uh, videos of Barlows on you all at once but um and then also I'd like to do like my um, a video of my Boker collection, my Shat Morgan Queen, and uh, Case. Um, I got quite a bit of knives to show you guys, in other words. But here is the Case 
slimline trapper and your model number is 10154 it's a DLT exclusive it's sharp it's beautiful I really like it a friend of mine said it wasn't for him but um, yeah he's he's not all there but anyway there it is everybody take care look at look at what the the pinched nerve is doing to my fingers a little bit of pain here but anyway folks there it is beautiful badge some beautiful um canvas micarta especially on this side brush satin bolster three inch cutting edge um, not too intimidating. Something you wouldn't mind pulling out in a restaurant to um, cut up your steak or your pork chops. Whatever it may be. Anyway, have a great day. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.